at Lensatec. So at Lensatec, we've developed a gas fermentation technology that allows uh, a range of gases, including industrial waste gases, to become resources for the production of uh, liquid transport fuels and chemicals. Um, we have uh, a range of patents uh, protecting our technology, including two on uh, proprietary microbes that we've developed uh, that allow the conversion of, of gases to chemicals. Uh, and our technology is, is somewhat unique because it allows, I guess, low carbon fuels to be produced without an impact on the food uh, value chain. I'll skip that slide. So at Lenzatech, our ambition is to be uh, a company that um, develops a technology that allows a range of gases, carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide and hydrogen, as well as CO2, to become resources for the production of fuels and chemicals. And uh, when I say fuels and chemicals, today we're, we're able to produce ethanol and a platform chemical called T3-butane dial from uh, um, uh, carbon monoxide and carbon monoxide containing, uh, carbon monoxide and hydrogen containing gases. Um, uh, but in future, we're looking at the production of a broad spectrum of, of more energy dense uh, fuels uh, or, mal or more valuable chemicals. Our piece is really in the middle there, through the development of uh, native or uh, synthetic organisms, as well as the perfection of uh, engineering, process control, and process chemistries that allow uh, these uh, widely available gas resources uh, to be used for fuel and chemical production. Part of the, uh, I guess, the advantage of our technology, or uh, I think an elegant part of our technology, is that um, we are able to produce hydrogen-dense fuel molecules from gases such as carbon monoxide that contain no hydrogen. And uh, yeah, so this is a, for all the, all the chemists in the audience, you'll immediately spot that's ethanol there, two carbons, six hydrogens. And, uh, and we're able to produce this from a gas that contains no hydrogen. The reason we're able to do this is that our microbe performs in a completely balanced way a water gas shift reaction. So it's able to take the energy in carbon monoxide and use that to split water and harvest water for the production of, uh, of ethanol. It does this in complete balance with the production of, of ethanol so there is no uh, excess or additional hydrogen produced. Uh, we've scaled up the technology today. We have a pilot plant operating at a steel mill in New Zealand, the only steel mill in New Zealand. Um, and, uh, and that pilot plant takes direct feeds of gas from the, uh, uh, from the steel making process into our bioreactor and converts these into fuels. We've been able to show that our process is not only stable, uh, it's, uh, it's also uh, one that, that uh, is unaffected by the contaminants, etc., in that gas. We've now gone on to form a uh, relationship with uh, the world's second largest steel company in China, um, uh, Bao Steel. Uh, that joint venture company is today building a 100,000 gallon uh, per annum demonstration facility in Shanghai and success at that demo will lead to the production of a commercial facility in, in 2013 that uh, allows the synthesis of up to 50 million gallons of fuel per year. Uh, so we've also, as I mentioned, developed a, uh, an ability to produce a bunch of uh, more energy dense and more valuable chemicals. We've done this by developing a synthetic platform for our microbes so we can genetically modify uh, the bug, uh, put in genes for the production of these uh, various products. And today we've demonstrated the production of, for example, butanol, acetone and, uh, and isopropanol. And going on, uh, we're, we're just entering a, a phase where we're looking at the use of, of hydrogen as a, a resource for uh, the sequestering and utilization of CO2 as the carbon source uh, for, fuel product, uh, for, for fuel and chemical production. And uh, this is something that we're just developing in the lab now, but it's, it's, uh, it's looking very exciting and, uh, and certainly something that uh, we're, uh, uh, we're very enthusiastic about. Over the past year, um, since hiring a CEO, we've, uh, we've got to the point where we form relationships with a spectrum of companies. We're not just about the steel industry. We, uh, we formed relationships with groups in uh, the refining industry, the chemical industry, the coal industry. And, uh, and these are all major players. So Indian Oil, obviously one of the world's largest state-owned oil companies. Um, POSCO, the third largest steel company, Bao Steel I've already mentioned. Hernan Coal and Chemical and Yang Kuang are two um, major uh, coal gasification players in, in China. 
So finally, uh, I think Landatec is uh, uh, a technology that allows uh, nations to, uh, to grow industrially, uh, to, to become more energy secure, and to become more energy efficient while leaving land and food resources uh, alone to, to, to feed people. So thank you very much, and thank you to the, the organizers of uh, TIE 50.